seven day Manjaro protein ice cream challenge. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Countess of Shopping. I am so stoked for today's video talking about the Ninja Creamy ice cream challenge. I have lost over 85 pounds with Manjaro in the last 15 months. And I have started using, I bought, I'm not sponsored, this video is not sponsored. I bought with my own money, the Ninja Creamy to test it. And I've been using it the past year plus to get extra protein in. Because with Manjaro weight loss, we do know, uh, per nutritionist interview that I did, which you can see uh, in a previous episode, 100 to 120 grams of protein. And I found myself, while on Manjaro, struggling to hit that on days like three, four, five, six, seven, when my appetite came back uh, from the appetite suppression. And so what I started to do and one of my hacks that really helped me was making Ninja creamy ice cream, but protein ice cream. And so on today's challenge, I've got a whole blog post for you. It's linked in the description link below. If you click that dot, dot, dot more button, that's gonna show you all of my links as we go through the nitty gritty of this challenge to hopefully help you figure out what you like, what you don't like, how to get more protein in, how to make things go faster for you, like efficiency and systems, to be able to on, if you're on a GLP-1 medication like Manjaro, Zepbound, Wegovi, or a compound like semi-glutide or terazepatide, how to easily have protein ice cream as a great solution. Um, now, a couple of hinge pins, because I do like to be an inclusive group and I don't like to leave anyone out. A couple of things you can do. One, if you want to be a part of the seven day challenge, I bought the Ninja Creamy. I also thought I had bought the Dash ice cream maker. Um, I did not. I have bought 10 other Dash products but not the ice cream maker. This one, I just wanted to show you the label of Dash. That is an option. However, I have not used yet. I thought I had, but I, I don't. I've tested a lot. I've tested a lot of products here. I've kissed a lot of frogs and tested a lot of products, but that is not one that I've tested yet for the Dash ice cream maker. That one is substantially less expensive. And so this one is around the $200 bar park. I've linked down below on my Manjaro protein ice cream Amazon shopping list, all of the ingredients, everything you need in the description link below. I'll also link the Dash ice cream maker with the warning of, I'm not quite sure if it's going to translate the same. Um, some people have said that there's more, because I did some Reddit searches, like ice chunks in it. And so for me, I wanted the truly authentic ice cream taste as if I went to the grocery store to go purchase it, which is why I like the Ninja Creamy. So just to give some context on that, that there is, I want everyone to be included, but I understand dropping 200 bucks for this thing approximately is pricey. And so there's a couple of other ways you could do that. You could get the dash or you could just have the protein shakes too. For me, because it's so hot here in Virginia, yesterday it was 85 degrees. This solution, seven day solution is so much fun and so easy and so simple. So let's dive in. A couple of things. One, you're gonna need the Ninja Ice Cream Creamy. I encourage, I, for, for me, I just get everything off of Amazon. However, I'm gonna link right here. You're gonna see a little thing pop up where you can shop with YouTube shopping on Kohl's. Kohl's may have a sale that is less um, that you get a better deal on, and maybe you can use Kohl's cash or coupons. I'm gonna link that there, worth clicking on. The video will continue even while I'm talking, even while you shop on Kohl's with that. So check that out. Um, and if there is a secondary source that I find that has Ninja, I, I'll put it in this button. The second, it'll, the second pop-up will go <coughs> to get the Ninja ice cream maker. Because it does make like, ice cream and sorbet, gelato, milkshakes. I'm not sponsored by Ninja, although I wish it was. Call me Ninja, I would love to be. Uh, but this one was, has been great. And my, my eight-year-old, the Duke, loves using it too. So if you've got kids, it's tons of fun in the summertime. And it, we even use it in the wintertime. Now let's go through, I have, let's talk about things you'll need in advance. This challenge, I'm giving a couple of days to get your supplies in order and then we can start. And one of the things you need to know out of the gate is whenever you make the ice cream to put it in your freezer, you need 24 hours. You can't shortcut that really. I mean, you can make it like 22, but really give it the 24 hours in your freezer. So get your supplies. It's gonna take 24 hours to make these recipes for it to freeze in your freezer and have freezer space too. That was one of my other big things. I was like, I don't know if I 
it was freezer. So we had to eat some of our freezer meals to make room for my, um, I wanted my ice cream all in there because I wanted it to be, you guys know I'm efficient on systems. I want it to be grab and go. If you want to skip ahead and just get all of the challenge, again, it's linked on countessofshopping.com, my blog source for you for all things Manjaro and GLP-1, med um, GLP-1 medications. I have this also listed in a blog format for you too, in addition to here on YouTube. So we've got our ingredients first. First, you'll need the Ninja ice cream maker. I encourage you buy extra of the containers. Of course, you can wash and reuse these, but I like the lids because it tells me they're different flavors. And then I do label them too with just like tape. So you could get fancy and label it with um, like one of those wax pens or things like that. Or on the top, um, I just use tape. Um, but get extra containers. You guys know they're dishwasher safe. <laughs> I don't use things ra rarely unless they are dishwasher safe. So getting these extra lids, um, and you want to use the ones that are for Ninja. That's the other big thing. Um, I saw someone online was using something like that they had concocted. Don't do that. You could hurt yourself. <laughs> you could hurt yourself. Now, some of the ingredients that you'll need, some of the recipes you can use, you just need protein shake. And I've got my specific flavors I'm using, but I really want to make this challenge your challenge. So make it for things that you really like and enjoy. I ended up buying more of the Jello sugar-free. Um, these aren't sugar-free, but the ones you're going to want to use are sugar-free. I mean, I guess you could use non-sugar-free ones, but they're the Jello instant packets of them. You'll need those. And then you can correspond those with your flavors if you want to slightly tweak it. Now I bought on Amazon a big bundle of like 12. And you only need a tablespoon or two from each packet. So then I just save them. I'll make several of them at a time. So then I don't waste these, but you do whatever you want with them. It needs it to thicken the protein shake. So don't skip the step. You could, I guess, but it thickens the actual um, protein shake. So this, one of those whiskers, the because I use a powdered blended one, but even if you didn't use a powdered blended one to blend in your sugar-free jello, or if you want to use like name brand, like if you don't want to shop on Amazon and you want to get these all from Walmart, um, I'll also put a Walmart shopping list here too of at least the sugar-free jello so you can get them shipped to your house. Like I just didn't want to go schlep. So sugar-free jellos, a whisk, one of those, I didn't bring them into the studio, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about extra pints it's well worth buying these so then you have extra for different flavors and then either your ninja creamy or a dash maker or I, i'm trying to think if there's other i think there may be other ice cream makers on the market and you could try those but i just i just haven't so um so now let's talk a little bit about our flavors in there and i've got a couple other products that i bought too included in our ingredients list i want to try one of my flavors. Usually I use my protein shake plus water, but I bought some extra things to try one with unsweetened coconut milk. I bought this straight off Amazon because again, I didn't want to go to the grocery store, but instead of water that has zero calories, this has one third of cup has 120 calories in there too. Um, and it's unsweetened, but I wanted to try, I wanted to try one of my ice creams with these to see if it tasted tremendously different. So I haven't done that yet, but that's on my list for this week to try. Number two is I bought one of these uh, cases of the almond milk. It's vanilla unsweetened almond milk. You could get non-vanilla, like just not flavored almond milk too. I also wanted to try one of these without the water with the almond milk instead. So I'm, get, I'm testing because I wanted to see, I told you, this is a fun challenge. The world is your oyster with these because I want it to be something that you're excited to have. It's not drudgery because you'll eat it. If you think it's gross or you're not interested, you need to make this challenge about things that you actually like. Like if you're a chocolate person, stay in the chocolate wheelhouse. If you're a fruity person, stay in the fruity wheelhouse or a combination of the two. That is what I'm doing and I'm really pumped about it. Like I'm pumped to eat these. So for my first recipe, on day one, I'm using BioCare. The reason why I use BioCare dietary beverages is because they're protein shakes that are made for people on semi-glutide and terazepatide. 20 grams of protein. They have these, and the other reason why I love them is they've got these individual packets. So I can travel with these. I put two of these, it's six ounces of water plus the packet. So I'll use two, but it's, a, uh, is it two or three? I put whatever it fits in here in there and then I use my little whisk to put them in there. It's so good. 
it's so good. It's creamy. It's silky. It's rich tasting. It's so good. It's so good. So I love these. And by the way, these also help with muscle mass and um, help reduce side effects from, and they go into details as to why. So I've linked down below. They've been very gracious to give the Countess of Shopping a discount. It's um, Queen, Q-U-E-E-N. I've linked that discount link down in the description link below too. So for day one, I'm doing chocolate and water and just mixing it in there. So I will make these all in one day and put these in my freezer for all seven days. Number two is BioCare also has another one, which is mixed fruit. The mixed fruit is more my, I, I like fruit. I tend to like fruit more than I like chocolate, but um, you get whatever you want. If that does not appeal to you, then do the flavor you want. If you want to do two chocolates or two mixed fruits, again, the main point of this challenge is for you to take ownership of your health and your own stuff of what you like. So you'll stick to it, right? And the main whole point of this whole thing is to make sure we're getting our protein in. Like that is the whole reason why I'm doing this Ninja Ice Cream Maker challenge with it. So having the, um, having, oh no. There we go. Okay, we're back. She's back. She's back in action. I don't know why that happened. Um, so having number one was the chocolate and water. Number two is the mixed fruit. Number three is the chocolate with peanut butter on. If you don't want to do the peanut butter, you don't have to. There is a peanut butter. It's called PB. I didn't bring it into my studio, but you just use those scoops plus the whisker and put it into your, the put it into your little um, container, your Ninja ice cream container. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. So this is what it looks like. Here's what they look like with the different things that you can do. Like it's creamy, it's rich, it's filling. It is loud. When you use this Ninja Ice Cream Maker for the first pass of it, it's loud. Um, when you first use it, and I'm not using those, I'm using BioCare. When you first use it, it comes out crumbly. You just need to re-blend it or your ice cream is too hard and just let it sit. Usually when I take them out of the freezer, I'll let it sit for five to 10 minutes just to um, not be so hard because it can get crumbly. If it's crumbly, that's not rich, silky ice cream. So I let mine sit on the countertops for five to 10 minutes and then I blend them. If it has a bump on it, cut that off. If you're, I, I have that frequently. I don't know why that does that. Tell me in the comments if you know why it does that. If there's like a bump in here and it's not completely flat up to this, there's the line that you want it to go to. If it's bumpy, cut it with a knife because you don't want your paddles, these paddles to go into that. You don't want to do that. So when you take your Ninja ice cream maker, you literally have your, your mixture, you put it in there, you put this down, you click this over, you just clicked. And then um, when you want to unclick it, you just push this button and unclicks there. If you want to wash your paddles, for example, all you do is take this button on the back and release it. Oops. Just release it like that, and it pops this out. And then you can clean it. It's really, really easy to clean. Put it back in. You just pull this over. Push that in. Ta -da. So then that clicks on here. That clicks over. And then you put this into here. Lock it, and then push the button and it just clicks like that. And then it'll go, that's really loud, and you push your ice cream button. Now, if you want to add things in there, say for our chocolate peanut butter, you want to add chocolate chips, all you would do, I'm not doing that, but if you want to, again, making this, taking ownership for what you want, you just click in um, mix in, and that will mix in stuff. If you want to add like chunks of fruit or things like that. If it comes out where it's dry and dusty, you just hit this bottom button that says re-spin. It's very, very intuitive and very easy to use. It's just very loud. If you've got kids who have sensitivity to loudness, just FYI, it's loud. Or dogs or cats. Number for day four, mixed fruit plus berries. We have local farms here, so I can get fresh fruit all the time. Um, if you have frozen fruits, that's another great one. Like you can get organic frozen blueberries, incredibly inexpensive from Costco. You can throw those in there too if you want to get some extra, extra antioxidants. Day five, I am doing the chocolate plus the almond milk. And day six, the mixed fruit plus the coconut milk. Um, and then day seven, I'm going to do, I'm going to test um, a butterscotch recipe. 
So I'm going to put these all on, on countessofshopping.com. The link down below, you'll see the link for the, the Manjaro Protein Ice Cream Challenge. You'll see, you'll see that link. And so I'm testing too, as we're doing this like that. So I'm going to have it on the seventh day. So see that link that's going to get continuously, hopefully continuously updated. If it tastes good, if it tastes yucky, I'll leave it off. But I think it should taste pretty good. My main things for you for this challenge are one, report in the group. We're going to have a thread going in my free Manjaro and ZetBound and we go be weight loss encouragement group, which is linked down in the description. Um, you can make your comments here on YouTube, but really that private group that's on Facebook is where we're going to be motivating, encouraging each other, talking about recipes we like. I know some of you fabulous gals and guys are going to have like lemon curds or like cool stuff. In addition, these are the ones that I wanted. There's other recipes. There's a ton of recipes you can do. These are ones that I just wanted to do. Now, one of the things I'm really also excited about is I do have my BioCare link down below, my protein shakes, but I've been talking about, um, couple of other add-ins with collagen. I will link those also down below too. If you want a boost in collagen, you can use the discount code QUEEN. This one's salted caramel collagen. Um, they have a chai. That could be an option to make the chocolate caramel or a chocolate chai by just adding those scoops into it. And I like the scoops, quite frankly, because I can mix and match so many things. Um, and then when you also have the sugar-free jello things, you can really get creative with the combinations in there. Now, mix in things. I'm not a huge mixer inner of like nuts or fruits or sprinkles or I just don't, but you can. Know that that's another option. The world is your oyster. Again, I want the seven day challenge to be what you are really pumped about, what you are motivated to eat, what you like. If you don't like it, switch it for something else. You can switch out the flavoring for the sugar-free jellos for things you like. If you don't like chocolate, don't have chocolate. Find a protein shake that you like. Have the mixed fruit, have one of the other. Like, find stuff you enjoy. And then you can add things in to vary those up. Or maybe all seven days, you just want to do the same recipe. You're like, that's good for me. Let's call it even, Steven. That is also another choice, too. So, my friends, let me know down in the comments. We do a couple things here at Countess of Shopping. One of my big things is emojis. If you've made it this far in the video, um, put the emoji ice cream down below and I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll uplift you in positive thought, but also it helps me to get to know you better because I care. And number two, I want to know what's your action item. Are you in on the challenge? And if you're not in on the challenge, what are you going to do instead? Um, cause we are an inclusive community here at Countess of Shopping. So sweet friends, visit that website link down below to get all of the information. Use the links I've provided for if you're going to be purchasing your own Ninja Creamy or the Dash ice cream maker. Um, and I'm really excited. I'll see you guys over in the free group for this challenge. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings cause life is delicious. I'll see you soon friends. Bye friends. Have a great day.